I am up and set for the day. I don't know whether anyone's noticed, but I have stopped doing a liquid eyeliner at the moment and I'm actually using my brow pencil to just darken up my lash line instead. And I think that it gives me the same kind of dimension to my makeup and almost like a little bit softer. Um, so it still makes me feel like I look more awake than just mascara, but without being as sort of like whew, as the liquid. Let me know if you like it. I probably need to get an actual proper eyeliner pencil in brown, but um, the, the brow pencil seems to be working super well. So today, can I put people, can I put you there? Oh, you can go there. There we go, that's good. My little um, iPhone stand works really well. I am going to probably be a little bit more casual today, just like leggings and boots and like a body warmer or something like that, because it's, it's just going to the garden center and shopping a little bit and I just want to be comfortable. We might go for lunch. We're just going to spend the day together. It is currently 9.30 so we should hopefully be out the door by 10ish, although I have just heard Ali get in the shower. But I um, made an order of some new fleeces from a brand that Ali has been going on about non-stop. I think he came across it on either Reels or on TikTok. The brand is called Shuffle and they basically like take the piss out of the people that wear shuffles. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but he's just been going on about this brand because of this thing. And we both had a look and we we're like, actually they look really practical. <laughs> so um, we both ended up making an order from them just because they're comfy, cozy, and they seem to, to be quite durable as well. So I think I ordered three items from there. So I think I'm gonna probably wear one of those today. Although I was really annoyed because Ali could get the color that I wanted. I really like that more like heritage green, kind of like British racing green color, but I don't think they had that for me, but they had it for Ali, or it was like a dark olive. Anyway, I'm going to open it because I have had it sat here and not opened it. So this isn't PR, but it's it's Lydia's shopping and Lydia does a lot of that, so. Oh my goodness. I love the color of the bags that it comes in as well. It is an expensive brand. I was actually quite like shocked by how expensive they are, but apparently from reading online, they are like extremely good at what they do. This is Shuffle, wear the fabric of the countryside. Do you know what I often find with these countryside brands? A lot of them don't go down to a size six as well. I think I ended up having to order size eights, which it's not ideal, <laughs> but I guess it means I can probably get an extra layer underneath it or something like that. So, and they may fit, but I do find that, that a lot of the country brands don't go down to a size six. So, let's get inside. Sorry about my dressing gown hanging there. <laughs> I'm in this lovely cashmere one from Truly at the moment. It's like a cashmere robe. Ooh. Very nice. Okay, without blocking the camera. Ooh. So, I have gone for, this is their Ladies Lambswool Aero Block one quarter zip. And the color is Mole. And it's a size eight. I loved that it was the color Mole. For the number one Mole. <laughs> But this looked really, really nice. Now, I definitely have to layer it over like an under layer because it's wool. I love the color of this. You probably can't see how brown it is. Can you see now? Yeah. So it's got a really nice brown zip and lining, not lining, like piping to it. This is the knitted one. So this was a bit more expensive, I think. Oh, wow. It's like fully lined. So this is not just a jumper. This has like a lining to it. Can you see that? Oh, that is, I am very, very impressed by that. 100% lamb's wool, the lining is 100% polyester. That, I thought that there was tissue paper inside. That is very, very handy. And then I also picked up this green shuffle gilet, which has like a brown leather piping to it, which again, I thought was really cute and practical as well. I like having my arms free when I'm in the garden. So I've actually been buying quite a lot of gilets at the moment. This is not lined. So this is slightly like less protection. This is their Technopile Advanced Performance Fabric. And this is their Linden Fleece. And this is in shade Fern. So I thought that was really handy as well. Good for layering. And then I got myself another fleece. Oh, this is so handy. This is so nice. They're so good. They're so thick. This is their Tilton one quarter zip fleece in mocha and it's a size eight. 
and then again it's got the leather piping to it so these are expensive they've got quite you know they're very very practical i honestly can't believe how thick this fleece is oh this is an absolute snuggle fest so i think i'm going to wear one of these today because we're going to be going inside and outside at like garden centers and shops and things like that so i want to be nice and warm and i want to be nice and comfortable so that is what I think I'm going to wear today. So I'm going to get myself dressed and ready to leave. I can hear Ali drying his hair. So we should be ready to go very, very soon. So I popped on the gilet. This is the size six. And as you can see, it definitely has a lot of room in it. So I'm a bit nervous about the size eights, but I'm going to be keeping this because it is very, very handy. And I do like the color as much as I wish I could have got it in the dark olive. I'm jealous because I think that Ali managed to get some in the dark olive, but I do like the mole and is it mocha? No, tiffin. No, I have no idea. I have no idea. That's tiffin. <laughs> I'm just making things up. What color was this one? This one was mocha. I was right. I was right. Okay. Sorry if you can see a large amount of deliveries in the background. There's even more downstairs. I have huge amounts of deliveries right now and let me know in the comments if you want to see kind of like a bit of a PR unboxing kind of video. I know that not everyone's into it and I try and keep it like minimal but it's minimal in comparison to what I actually get but I've got a whole pile downstairs. Um, I'm gonna wear my Tala leggings today. I am just a Tala legging obsessive. I really really wish or hope that Tala will bring out like a, a kind of country collection one day and do these leggings in like brown and like dark olive and green and things like that. So yeah, I would love to see that. But these are just my go-to leggings if I want to feel like safe and secure and they're just super flattering. I love them. Okay, this is the wool version and um, it's super practical this was the most expensive and i love the fact that they've lined it so that it isn't itchy so you could wear this with just a vest underneath if you don't want to be too warm i've got an intimissimi cashmere blend roll neck is that right but these are just so handy for just being like an extra layer of warmth and they're so soft but i love this i'm going to keep this too it's just a handy one i think to have and will go really well actually underneath my gilet. So I, in fact, I might wear this today. I'm not sure, it is looking quite cold outside. Either this one or the other one. This is it under my gilet from Dubarry and I think this is what I'm gonna wear today. I haven't tried on the mocha one yet, but I'm gonna stick with this for now. Perfect. Okay, ready to go. I literally have the naughtiest husband ever. These are still the hula hoops that he picked up from our last escapade. And he's just got me more and he's got me a coffee. But babe, do you know what I've realized whilst I've been sat here? Babe, it is the 1st of November, which means I am officially allowed to start putting the wi winter spice fragrance on in yes. the house. Yeah. Aren't I? Yeah. You heard it here first, people. This is official. It is official. Yeah. I, I like the scent. Yeah, no, but you just don't let me have it on any sooner. No, I think that, well, I've come to terms with we do Christmas a little earlier. But yeah, um, I'm happy with the early Christmas celebrations. I mean, let's just long it out. Christmas is the happiest time of the year. Let's just make yeah. it for this year. Let's literally get full in the spirit. That's what I plan on doing, to be honest. I'm going to get myself fully into the winter spirit and throw myself into planning Christmas and making the house just the most magical place. We're even going to do wreaths on our gates this year. Oh, oh yeah, okay. See you when we get there! <laughs> we are back in the car after, a, gosh, a few hours in Burford. I actually didn't buy as much Christmas stuff as I thought I was going to do. I would be inclined to say that frosts yeah. i would say frost has more de decorations has more to offer did it more decorations in terms of like baubles and things like that they've got more but i did pick up the most beautiful selection i can't wait to show you they're very very me in my style so we'll go through them when we get home we're now going to quickly head over to dalesford i think and just catch the end because it, it closes at four on a sunday so we get over there, Ali's got a sausage roll. <laughs> what else did we pick up? You picked up some books, you picked up some oh, yeah. decorations, we picked up something 
to get mud off of our boots, our, yep. Wel our Wellington. Lots of stuff, really, and didn't we? And we got some alcohol. We always pick I up. I bought Ken a treat. I yeah, bought Ken, bought some, Ken rum. some rum. And um, I picked up two bottles of wine. I put them into my Vivino app, and one of them was in the top 9% of wines, um, and it was a Malbec. And I just thought I'd give it a try. But we'll go through everything when we get home. Now, to Dale's. back home and it is just about getting dark and we went to Dalesford and I actually didn't end up picking up much stuff. You prefer Dalesford don't you? I had to buy a new um, watering can because my other one doesn't have a little sprinkler. That will just fall off when you spout it. Oh. Well anyway this one's slightly bigger and I needed a slightly bigger Anyway, as I was saying, Ali prefers Dalesford, and to be honest, like the displays and like the shops in Dalesford are well, like. Just before you go on. Yeah. I prefer the feel and look. Yeah, you wish of it was Dalesford, bigger. But I think that there was obviously more to buy. We did buy from. More Burford. from Burford. But we bought loads more. Yeah, we did buy a lot more from Burford, but Dalesford, in terms of like inspiration, I definitely find it a lot more inspiring with what they've got and like how they display things. But I needed to get a new watering can because my other one doesn't have a spout and I don't think you can get the spouts for the end. So I just picked up one very similar, slightly bigger because I do find that I have to refill the other one quite often. So that'll work really well. Um, I picked up some books from Burford. I got the Q Gardener's Guide to Growing Vegetables. I just thought this looked like a handy little sort of step by step that I can go through. I also got the tales and recipes from the kitchen garden and beyond from the pig. And then as I said in the car, we try like to use our decorations, but also have like the opportunity to swap some out each year, just depending on what our style is and how we're feeling. So I like to get some new bits and bobs for Christmas. And I would normally have like massively planned a huge like Christmas sort of tour throughout a day to go and do loads of Christmas shopping. But I think it's probably gonna be done a lot online because obviously of the lockdown. So um, I just kind of picked up a few bits. We needed to get some more twine. So I got some green twine and some natural twine. We use this so much. I use it for like when I do table settings and things like that. Not that we're gonna be having lots of people over or anything like that, but we do get through it a lot. Ali used it a lot as well. So I picked up two of those. We also, bumped into Arabella Golby whilst we were there and her friend told us to pick up the uh, sourdough revolution bread. So um, I'm planning on cooking a pumpkin, a vegan pumpkin mac and cheese tonight. So I thought we could probably have some sourdough with it. Yes, it's not gluten free, but it sounds as though I need to try this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. So we picked up that. We always pick up bits and bobs and food from uh, Burford just because they have such great stuff. I also picked up these two cards because I just thought that they were really pretty. This one's got loads of little vegetable illustrations on it, which I thought was quite pretty. And then this was, um, yes, that's exactly what it was, Lummy. Uh, this was another little botanical print that I thought was quite lovely. So I'll just pop them in the card drawer because I just, we like picking up cards to ensure that we've always got cards. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, pop it. Come on, it's not for you. So when it comes to my trees, I'm I'm definitely moving. <laughs> Lovely! <laughs> Don't do that! You naughty moo! You like the sourdough too, do you? So yeah, for my Christmas trees, I'm not particularly like glitzy or glammy anymore. I much like the trees to feel quite rustic and textured and just like, I don't know, I just prefer a more rustic feel. Um, so these are some shearling baubles that we stumbled across. I picked up four of those, just a nice little touch, quite cozy. I mean, they are so expensive for baubles. That's why I only got four of them because yeah, but I just thought they were so lovely, a lovely little wool, wool ball. We picked up some coffee, because I feel like we always pick up coffee. Um, Ali picked up his sticky barbecue sauce. 
and he's already picked up his balsamic vinegar, even though that boy has a collection of balsamic vinegar like I just never experienced. I actually thought that I was going to end up spending so much more. I thought that I was just going to like go a bit wild. Although, Burford is staying open, so apparently now garden centres are allowed to stay open, so that is good to know because at least it means that we can still go and do things like that. They had, honestly, some of the most beautiful baubles I've ever seen. So these were some little like acorn style and they almost look like pottery or like old urns, like that kind of feel to the outside, but also a little bit like aged bronze. It's weird. It's so many different sort of like vibes to it, but I just liked the fact that they were really, really textured. So I think we picked up about four of those. Oh, but these ones, I just couldn't. These are just like such old feel to them. I love, they're so warm in their tone. So I really think that these are gonna add something special to the tree decor. I need to find out where these are from because I may want more, but I just love them. So we've got four of the smaller ones and then there's some bigger ones as well, which I'll show you. I just absolutely loved it. And then usually I have like burlap and things like that on my trees. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that again. There's gonna be like pheasant feathers and stuff like that. So it's gonna be really lovely. Little robins. I think we've got about four of those that will look cute on the tree as well. Some little touches there. Those were the decorations that we got, but I'm gonna keep them in the bag because obviously we're not decorating trees just yet. We've got a few more weeks left. In fact, I need to check if we've got the diffuser oil. I'm sure I had some left. If, if I do, I'm gonna get it out and I'm going to get it burning. So exciting. And then in here, I think this is the alcohol haul, which one of these is a gift for Ken, and then I picked up two bottles of wine for myself. Um, I picked up another bottle of the Cotswolds Hills, which is the 2019 Silver Wine of the Year competition. So that did well. And then I also, I used my, I've said this already, but I used my Vivino app. And I just thought I'd try this, this Malbec. It's an organic Malbec and it's from Argentina, and I thought the bottle was quite pretty as well. It's got a little hummingbird on it. It's in the top 9% of wine, so I thought, we'll give it a go. She says, as she has four bottles of red wine open. Yeah. Oh, you thought you were getting some coccolini then? You knew. So that was what I got. Lots of little bits, but some bits for other people as well. I'm gonna get this put away. I'm gonna be making the vegan pumpkin mac and cheese tonight, which I think will be delicious. So that is my vegan mac and cheese just out of the oven. And oh my goodness, the sauce is amazing. I'm so excited to try this. Um, I'll put the recipe somewhere. I might even try and put it up on my blog at some point but I actually took the recipe from somewhere else, but then I've kind of adapted it a little bit. I added the breadcrumbs and a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. You don't have to do that and you can keep it completely vegan. I just don't have vegan Parmesan cheese. If anyone can point me in the direction to get some, that would be fabulous. But yeah, it, the recipe actually doesn't have that on it. I just really need to have like a crunch with my mac and cheese. So that's what I'm doing. There we have it. We've got the sourdough from Burford and Ali is doing the honors. Oh my God, this sauce is so good. Thank you, my first pumpkin vegan mac and cheese. Thank you. You like it? Not as much as Lumi, but- Lumi loves sourdough bread, oh my goodness. Easy the way, you little carby. I have just tried a little bit and it tasted delicious. Mm. I've also decided to use up some of the grapefruits that we have in our fruit bowl. Uh, we had way too many. And I thought I'd try my ginger and lemon tonic, but with grapefruit instead. So I'm gonna fill up my little bottles from ProCook ready for the week, but I'm trying ginger and grapefruit. I will report back and let you know if it's any good, but I just had to use what I had to use. But anyway, I am going, Look at the tiredness in that face. I am gonna snuggle down in front of the fire. Ali has already got it going 
and um, we are gonna have a chilled Sunday evening. And he was like, do you want a glass of red? I was like, no, babe, <laughs> not tonight. Although it is very tempting. I would have had a little bit of the uh, black pig, but no, no, no. I wanna get up, I wanna work out. I wanna do my stuff. Good so morning, everyone. It's about seven o'clock and I am out in the garden. I just had to come out here because the woodland is completely dying back, basically. Sorry about my pink nose, it's because it's so cold. <sighs> the first frost, as you can see, through there, just that area there, for the moment you can see how much it's died back and we are actually able to see out across the, uh, the fields. It is very frosty and sadly, I didn't get the covers for my beds in time for the first frost, so it's not looking good, but we shall see, we shall see. Ali is out in the back garden trying his new camera out, but the sun is out. This is my dream frosty morning, well, my dream autumn morning. It's just super sunny, cold, like look at that next door over there. And it's just a lovely, lovely day, so I am going to take a little walk around the garden and then go in and get ready. This one is doing his thing. <laughs> the house is looking lovely. Really looking forward to getting our fire pit here. Hopefully we can find the right one. Still got roses blooming though, look at this. Let me show you. And hydrangeas funnily enough, although these hydrangeas are just weird. They just don't really do much. But these guys are just kind of dying off. I think probably need to be deadheaded but I thought I'd show you progress with the walls and let you know that Haddonstone have agreed to replace the pillar caps which is so good but because these ones have been fitted they can't resell them so it's kind of good for them really because the coping stones in the garden are actually concrete so um yeah, they're not that nice. They're not as nice as these ones. So we'll probably end up buying a whole load of coping stones from them as well to match so that these all match. And then we'll replace the pillar caps that we've got in our garden as well. But this is where we're at at the moment. We only have the scratch coat on at the moment. We can't finish until we get the new pillar caps. So it's all on hold for the moment. So the walls don't look amazing, but we're getting there. They look better than they did though, to be fair. I'd rather them like this than the old way. Look how glorious that is. It almost looks like it's snowed on camera. If you can hear some fizzing, I'm just doing our barocas and I've started adding this Solgar liquid vitamin D3 to the barocas as well. Cause I think we're supposed to take more vitamin D when we're in winter, but this is obviously a very lovely sunny day, so it doesn't really add up, but apparently we're supposed to, so I've made one each for Ali and I. Last night I also made my first ever vegetarian, it might even be vegan, I need to check what the mince is, but vegetarian cottage pie, and it was a great success, and Ali is gonna have the leftovers for lunch. I'm really enjoying like trying different things that I've never made before, so yeah. Well, you won't believe it, but it has been a very, very busy day. I tell you what, there's just so much content to be created during the day. I don't know how, I just don't know how I'm ever gonna continue doing this, but I've already started prepping things that I'm gonna shoot tomorrow. However, today is, today is sadly our last day of freedom. So I think that's probably why I wanted to get up and go and walk around the garden, even though we're allowed to go and exercise and be outside as much as we want. Um, I just wanted to get up, get out, and just kind of make the most of it, but we're actually going out tonight for one of Ali's best friend's uh, birthdays. It was supposed to be, I think, later on in the week. I'm not sure, but they managed to, to change it and get it for this evening. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna have some drinks. I think I probably will have a glass or two of wine just purely because this is obviously, oh, I mean, what am I gonna do? I can't even go to Woven Mosaic. This makes me so sad. It really does. And it was really interesting. I started like watching other people's videos of when like the announcement was made and instantly when you saw them, them after the announcement, even me, I could see like the deflation in me and I could see it in others as well. And I didn't even think I was that affected by it, but apparently I was. 
But anyway, I do have some other exciting things to talk to you about. I have actually started doing my Christmas shopping as you would have seen in this video, um, but I've also done a load of online Christmas shopping because I totally understand that this is all kind of like sideswiped our Christmas shopping plans. I always love doing my Christmas come shopping with me um, as the first video of Vlogmas, but apparently I might not be doing that. So yeah, so what I generally do is I start filming Vlogmas a week early and so there's just no way, there's no way. So I have been picking up a few like gifts and things like that for people and I've already picked up some bits for Ali, I've picked up some bits for Carrie, um, I've picked up some bits for myself because I always pick up stuff for myself. <laughs> but just to be transparent, this video, well, this part of the video is um, an integrated paid partnership with by Terry. And for me, this is the dream. So basically, I generally get um, a number of people in my family some of their little gift sets for Christmas because people like my mum, who uses Balm de Rose all the time, I love to get her like a little Balm de Rose gift set. So I thought I'd show you some of their gift sets as well because, you know, I guess with all of the money that we're gonna save from not going out in November, hopefully we'll get extra special gifts this year, like a pony. It's pretending not to listen. <laughs> really want a pony. Um, but anyway, so obviously, you know, I work with By Terry all the time. This is an ad, this part right here is an ad, so I thought I'd let you know. <laughs> first of all, By Terry has launched their first advent calendar this is the twinkle glow advent calendar this is limited edition and i think this is absolutely genius for a brand like by terry to do this because i like i always say this but i know that so many people want to try and discover like what the brand is about and try loads of their products and obviously in these you get like lots of little minis and it's such a great way to try things from the brand and it's a different one, isn't it? I feel like a lot of the, the beauty advent calendars, like the collective ones, they tend to have a lot of the same brands in, a lot of the same things in. Whereas by Terry, like I would just, I, I just love this. I love the whole ethos and the idea about it. And I know that so many want to try different things. So it's a good way if someone has said, oh, I don't know what to buy get them this and they can sample it and they can fall in love with the brand like I have. Obviously I have a buy Terry discount code which is Lydia20 and that will get you 20% off everything that is full price at buyterry.com. It does exclude bundles and I'll put all of the information in the description box down below but if you wanted to pick up anything like your CC serum which I am actually running low on then you can pick it up and save 20% which is brilliant but if you wanted to get some gifts for other people you've got the buy Terry uh, advent calendar there and then these are things that I really really love as well so this is the kind of thing that I get my mum because these have like the little balm de rose this has the applicator one inside so these are just little sort of like stocking fillers that I tend to get my mum every year because she loves balm de rose this one has the hyaluronic hydro powder in it so again you've got like different ones and then this one this is genius like if there if you are a by terry cc serum lover in sunny flash you can get a full size one and a travel one obviously we're not going anywhere but it's good for throwing in your gym bag or your like work bag if you need to refresh and um, this is just a great little set so i quite like to get this in my stocking personally um, and then there is also, this is like the best of set. So this has Balm de Rose, Lash Expert, which is one of my favorite mascaras. It also has one of their Ombre Black Stars and it has the Hyaluronic Powder as well. But this one, this one I am keeping for myself. I usually sort of give these to my, my friends and family for Christmas, but this is just for Lydia. And so if you are wanting to pick up something special for yourself this year, this is the limited edition by Terry Twinkle Glow Candlelight Glow Highlighter. And this is what I am going to be putting on my skin because I actually haven't put on highlighter today. That was a mistake, wasn't it? I've been filming all day and not put on any highlighter. So I'm gonna pop this on before we go out tonight just to kind of judge up my makeup a little bit as well. But oh my goodness, it actually doesn't look so bad now. You might be able to see a little bit of a reflection um, of this in the mirrors, but this room, this this house is a hot mess right now because I have been filming here, there and everywhere. But like I mentioned, there is a buy Terry discount code, which is mine personally, and it's Lydia20. So if you did want to pick up the highlighter, which I will show you shortly, or any of the gifts or anything that's full price, then you can, it's just Lydia20, so yeah. But I am gonna get on, I am absolutely craving a hot chocolate and I don't think that my husband will, will make me one. 
Babe? Ali? Ali? He's gone. I was like that, um, have you seen that gopher? Is it a meme or animal programs? It's like, Alan, 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 Alan. And then it's like, no, that's not Alan. Steve, 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 Steve. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> anyway, I need to have a tidy up, but I also need to have a hot chocolate, and I think the hot chocolate comes first, personally. Uh, but I'm looking forward to going out tonight. I'm sad, but I'm looking forward to it as well. And I've got some new stuff to wear as well, so I don't know what I'm gonna wear though. I might wear some of the new stuff, I don't know. But I've got to prep outfits for filming tomorrow, because I'm going to like bulk film some reels tomorrow. I'm loving filming like, just the kind of more simple fashion stuff. For me, like, it's all like, I don't know, I just want to make it more about the outfits on my reels. I think that that's what I love doing the most, is like putting outfits together or finding something new. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of planning with that. It's a shame I'm not going to be cooking tonight though, because I cooked a banging vegetarian cottage pie. And honestly, I'm loving cooking at the moment, absolutely loving it. So anywho. Oh, and this, by the way, is the snuggliest thing. You might actually be able to see how messy it is now. I ordered this from H&M. This is like a kind of, it's kind of like a cardigan. I think they called it a dressing gown on the website, but you could totally wear this as a cardigan. This is like my dreams. This is that like Borg kind of fleecy jumper material that you want the inside of your jumper to have. It's so warm. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this. I will link it down below. It is made from um, recycled materials as well, but I just I just thought it was the snuggliest thing ever. So I um, added it to my basket very last minute. <laughs> right, <laughs> hot chocolate break over. Have you ever had the options, like low-cal hot chocolate? It's really good, really, really good. So um, I just made one for Ali downstairs. He's cleaning up the courtyard downstairs because he's filming down there. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Also, I didn't even tell you, I had such a great start to this week, by the way. I had a meeting about something and I couldn't tell you at the time because I was finishing off another vlog. I had a meeting on Monday with someone who I'm gonna be like working with, not like working with in like, as like a client kind of thing, but like working with on like, it's so difficult to explain without giving it away, but in a business sense, like behind the scenes and Oh my God, how do I explain this? Oh, I've worked with people like this person in the past. And honestly, like, I'm just so excited to work with her. It is, and also she has been like a dream person for me to work with since I started on the internet. Like what she does is, it was like my goal to work with her. And this time around I was like, oh, I don't know if I can. And it's just worked out perfectly and we had a meeting and her vibe and her ideas and everything is just got me so excited. And so it's had me reflecting a lot because I really feel at the moment like the girls that I've got working with me and it may be that there's another girl joining us soon as well, is it just works so well, it really does. And I'm just, I'm so happy and I haven't been this happy in such a long time. And so like I, I tweeted this the other day, I was like, just because you pay someone to be on your team, it doesn't mean that they're on your team. And that is one of the biggest lessons that I have like learned this season or this year is that it doesn't matter if you pay someone, if they're not a, like, if their vibe is not for you, then it's never gonna work. And uh, I'm so happy. I can't tell you how happy I am. Like, I don't feel like when the girls come to work, I don't feel like, I don't feel like they take over my home and that it's just, we're like friends working at home and it's just, it's so lovely. And so to be already expanding the team by like so many more people this year, obviously at a time when people are losing their jobs that I feel really fortunate to be able to like give more jobs and like work with more people. But I'm kind of rambling on and being really vague at the moment and I'm sorry, but I was just so excited. Both me and Dee, we were like, we were sat there and we both clicked off of the Zoom call and we were like, oh my gosh, we both had the exact same feeling. Like that was everything. And I've already seen visuals and stuff like that. And I'm just feeling positive for the first time in a long time. And I think that I had such a summer, to be honest, like literally the summer I have ever had. And 
to be able to now say that I'm starting to feel positive is just really lovely, really lovely. And that things are like getting better. It's so much nicer and I'm enjoying work again and I'm enjoying being creative again. And like, especially Reels, I feel like Reels has really reignited my love of like styling and outfits and things like that. And so that's been really, really enjoyable. Sorry, I've just had a little bit of a brain dump there, but it was such a good meeting and I felt, I felt on such a high from it. And it's probably gonna be something that launches in 2021. I hope that we're able to like bring that forward. <laughs> but it's also something that like I know that lots of you will like as well so I'm I'm just looking forward to it I'm sorry I feel like I'm talking to friends when I'm vlogging and actually like I'm talking to people that actually want to know what I'm talking about and I can't tell them and I'm being really vague <laughs> sorry anyway I am going to sort all of this stuff out because this is usually what happens after I film I just throw stuff everywhere and I am like, yeah, I have to sort this out because it drives me mad. So I'm gonna sort it out. I'm gonna pick an outfit that I'm gonna wear tonight as well because I'm obviously going out, but I also need to plan like outfits that I'm gonna film tomorrow. I think that's probably a good use of my time now so that when I get up tomorrow, I know what I'm doing, you know? You know, so first things first, tidy. I'm just getting ready to head out for the evening for dinner and this month's Cosmopolitan has arrived and look who is on page 37 and 36 oh yes it is me it is me on a double page spread in Cosmopolitan I never ever thought I would ever see the day that I was in magazines and wowzers make your wardrobe work harder with these tips from YouTube style guru Lydia Elise Millen wow how cool there's me in my old living room there's me in my dressing room me at the me hotel oh, remember times when we could travel um me in Dior me in France me on my way to France and me in my boots <laughs> you can pick this up this is the uh December January edition so you can pick this up now so so cool ah, thank you so much Cosmopolitan for having me this is just the dream I'm having one of those days where I keep looking at myself and I'm like, Lydia, you should have uh, faked hand this morning and you didn't. And I feel like I look winter white, but oh well, there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm gonna get myself oh, all spritzed up. I'm using my bougie face mist. This is the By Terry like rose toner that I pop in a spray bottle. I love this as a mist, especially if I've got a full face of makeup on. Sorry about the lighting in here. <gasps> it's not that great for doing makeup, but um, yeah, it just, this is the hands down the best way to hydrate your skin. If you get really dry skin at the end of the day and you don't wanna like take all your makeup off, then that is my one like hack this beauty toner, whoo, insane. Now I'm going to test drive the new highlight. So I need to get myself a little bit of a highlighter pen, highlighter brush. I'm also going to put, put a little bit of bronzer on as well. So I'm gonna use my bronzer. I'm using the By Terry CC Powder in Sunny Flash as well. You can get with 20% off um, on the By Terry website using my code. <laughs> I'm going to go straight in with this. Ali's in the shower as we speak. Just give myself a little bit of a bronze up because we should have tanned. We should have tanned. Either that or my face is like eating my bronzer throughout the day. It's probably because I have to use so much face mist. But today was such a good day. Carrie was so busy as well and I was busy and it's just uh, brilliant to just work all day and tick stuff off my list and I even got things filmed that I wasn't planning on getting filmed so it's really like oh I just feels so productive and um, also if you're wondering what foundation I'm wearing today I am wearing the uh, by Terry Hyaluronic Hydra foundation I have to wear like my most moisturizing products at the moment because my skin is hella dry now I'm going to go in with the twinkle glow CC highlight you'll know by now that I am just a little bit of a fan of by Terry powders. I always think they make the most beautiful powders. In fact, I didn't really use powder products before 
I discovered by Terry's and they kind of like eased me into it because they don't dry your, your face out, they don't dry your skin out. Can you see that glow? So, managed to catch the light there. So we've got the gorgeous, very subtle but natural looking highlight. It's not like in your face, which I really like at the moment because I'm not wearing huge amounts of like makeup and foundation. So I want something that's just a little bit dewy. Mmm, feeling myself. Okay, I'm gonna get my dress on now and I'm gonna get some perfume on and I'm going to hopefully look presentable for the evening. But I will link the Twinkle Glow highlight in the description box down below so you can pick one up. It's got this gorgeous crystal lid to it. So it makes a beautiful gift. So if like any of the boyfriends are watching, because I know that a lot of you girls make your boyfriends or husbands or partners or girlfriends watch with you. If someone is looking for a um, particular product from By Terry or to try something new, this would look very, very beautiful under the Christmas tree. So if you're watching, I got you covered. <laughs> right, I'm going to pop on my perfume, a little bit of amber musk. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing amber musk now, but I would actually probably wear the ambrette de noir. Is that what it's called? I can't remember what it's called, but I can't find it. It's such a small bottle, I misplace it all the time. <laughs> yeah? Why? Who are you having to defend me to? So funny. <laughs> I love that I asked that question. My like DMs are now turned off on my Instagram, so people message Ali to try and get to me, bless him, and he'll be like, he'll ask me a question about me, and I'll be like, who are you defending me to? <laughs> and I will show you my outfit as well. <laughs> oh my goodness, I almost forgot lipstick. Lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. We are gonna go with a little bit of Lady Bear. Oh, my babe. I'm in a very weird mood today, if you haven't realized. I think it's because I've been so busy that I'm like, ah. I actually can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> it's so dark. I just popped this dress on to try it on for the first time. This is like a chocolate brown midi dress from H&M and it is just so beautiful. I still can't believe I managed to get my hands on it because um, it kept selling out and then I think someone must have returned it and then I managed to get it. But it's completely sold out on H&M sadly, but I just thought it was so, so beautiful. This print is just the dream, the absolute dream. But it's not what I'm wearing tonight, I'm afraid. I'm going to be wearing um, a little knitted dress from Karen Millen and probably a cardigan over the top. This is the dress that I'm gonna wear and this is hands down the best knitted dress I have ever, ever owned. Karen Millen has got that fit perfectly. So this bit is more of like a, a ribbed, um, almost jumper detail and then this is completely like knitted so it looks like a two-piece like the best fitting two-piece ever but it isn't and you can put a belt with it so that it's even more cinched in I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it like this so that I can eat and enjoy myself and not have to take my belt off and then I've got a sort of like long line coatigan from Seen on Her I'm also wearing it with my Le Boutin Eloise boots which I am utterly obsessed with these are just so flattering and i just find them so so comfortable so i'm going to be ordering the ankle boot version as well because <laughs> you know that i can't show any kind of restraint apparently <laughs> we have just arrived to the carrington arms and i have reached my instagram limit of the day so i'm going to switch that off i've also bought you actually can't see it's so dark in here I've bought some goodies for the girls because one of the girls is pregnant and the other one has just bought a new house and I know how you tend to neglect yourself when you've just bought a new house because money's usually a little bit tighter. So I've done one bag for the pregnant one and one bag for the new house. Let's go inside. Also, Ali is wearing, is it a uh, Luby crown from Christian Louboutin? Yeah. Yeah. And it is so strong. The fragrance payoff on it. I, ri I literally think you only need one square of it. Ali did four. No, I did four on my... No, sorry, I did three on my neck. And then I think I might have done two on my wrists. Okay, so five. I reckon you literally need I'm one square one. on your neck, one square on your wrists. That's it. Yeah, it's, it, it is a strong performance. It is very strong. Great it's, fragrance it's the payoff. It's though, isn't it? That you'd last. 
Babe, your highlight is popping. You literally have highlight on. <laughs> no, you don't. It looks like you do though. What is that highlight? <laughs> <laughs> Stella.